The burden of debt weighs heavily on many individuals and families. From student loans to credit card debt and mortgages, the cycle of borrowing often spirals out of control, leading to financial stress and insecurity. But fear not, as there is a way out of this predicament. Our channel is dedicated to empowering you with valuable insights and tips on personal finance, budgeting, investing, and wealth building. Please subscribe now and don't miss out on the opportunity to transform your financial future. Imagine this. It's the end of the month, and your bills start to come in. As you open each one and look at what you owe, $700 on your new car, $400 on your student loan, $100 on your credit card balance, you feel a little more stressed. That's $1,200 worth of payments, and you haven't even gotten to paying for rent, groceries, utilities, insurance, or gas for your car. Plus, your whole family needs a haircut. Oh, and your eight-year-old needs new shoes. And by the way, you still owe the furniture store hundreds for that couch you bought with a buy-now-pay-later program. Your stress turns to fear as you ask yourself, how in the world am I going to afford all of this? The truth is, you can afford all of it, but you'll have zero money left over to put aside for emergencies or invest for retirement. You'll also have nothing left to save for that beach vacation you're dead set on taking next summer, which means that trip will wind up going on your credit card and sinking you even further into debt. And that's how you end your month. Full of anxiety because you're drowning in payments with no money saved and nothing in retirement, knowing full well next month will be no different. That's precisely what debt does to your life. It's a wrecking ball, both to your money and your mental health. That's the truth about debt. Though debt can pile up for various reasons, the result is the same. The monthly payments and interest can become a major burden, leading to stress and financial anxiety. We'll cover some strategies for getting out of debt and what to consider on your debt repayment journey. 1. List out your debt details. Creating a plan to get out of debt requires focus and specificity. That means taking a hard look at all of your debt. For each outstanding balance, list out the type of debt, lender total balance interest rate and monthly payment. This list gives you an honest look at what you really owe. It can also come in handy later when you figure out a debt repayment strategy. Too often, we focus on just one debt that we see as the most urgent in truth. Perception is not always reality. For example, with student loan payments coming back that might seem like something to prioritize. But student loans often have manageable interest rates compared to other kinds of debt, like consumer debt. So it's important to really sit down and go over each debt and the cost of carrying it, and then put a plan together. 2. Adjust your budget. Getting out of debt requires making some changes and adjusting your budget. Debt doesn't happen overnight and doesn't get fixed overnight, so you make the decision that you want to pay off debt, you have to have that mindset. Look at your current spending habits. What can you cut out, even if it's temporary? This can create awareness and ensure you don't continue to build additional debt. To start, write down your total monthly take-home income and list out your expenses. Mark certain expenses as must-haves, which are your needs, such as housing, insurance, food, and transportation. Mark other expenses as nice-to-have, and those are your wants. These can include smaller recurring costs like streaming subscriptions or larger one-offs like travel. Are there expenses that you can eliminate from your budget, even for a short time? If not, is there a way to reduce the total costs? For example, instead of dining out twice a week, you cut down to once a week. Though it's not pleasant to cut back if you're used to a certain lifestyle, remember this is temporary and focus on the goal of debt freedom. Three. Try the debt snowball or avalanche method. Figuring out how to get out of debt can be stressful, but having a repayment strategy can keep you focused. Enter the debt snowball and the debt avalanche repayment methods. 
The debt snowball method essentially creates a snowball effect when you pay the minimum on all debts, while putting extra toward the smallest balances. You can start to see progress while paying off the lowest balances first, then move on to the next. The debt avalanche method saves money on interest when you pay the minimum on all debts while putting extra funds toward the balance with the steepest interest rate. Once that costliest account is paid off, the extra funds move to the balance with the next highest rate until all debts are repaid. Paying off the highest interest rate debt will save the most money, but the plan that will be successful is the one you can stick to. If motivation keeps you focused, the debt snowball method may be for you although you typically will save more with the debt avalanche. In my experience, people stick with the debt snowball because they can see progress. 4. Submit more than the minimum payment. If you want to learn how to get out of debt fast, it's key to pay more than the minimum amount due each month. This way, you can start to tackle the interest and chip away at the principal balance. By cutting back on expenses in your budget, you can allocate those funds toward your debt. Additionally. Commit to using any windfalls toward your debt repayment. Sudden cash infusions include tax refund inheritance, refunds from overpayment, proceeds from selling items. Let's review two examples of how paying more than the minimum can save you money. Increase your payment amount. Let's say you have $40,000 in student loans at 6.8% interest on a 10-year repayment term. Your monthly payment would be $460, and, over time, you'd pay a total of $15,239 in interest. If you add $50 to your payment per month, increasing it to $510, you would pay $13,139 in interest. That would net you $2,200 in savings over a decade. Make a one-time lump sum payment. Let's say you have $10,000 in credit card debt tagged with a 16% APR. Your minimum payment would be $233. By paying the minimum, you can expect to pay off the debt in 64 months, costing you $4,926 in interest. With a single lump sum payment of $3,000 thanks to your tax refund, for example, you could trim those figures to 39 months and $1,999 in interest. Thanks to this strategy, you'd reduce your repayment by two years and save $2,127 in interest. 5. Cut down interest by making bi-weekly payments another way to get out of debt quickly, or at least quicker than you would otherwise, is by making bi-weekly payments. This strategy means cutting your monthly payments in half and making payments every two weeks. It's particularly effective for student loans. If your monthly loan payment is $300, for example, you'd pay $150 every two weeks. Just be sure that all $300 in this scenario is submitted before your minimum payment due date. As a result of this cadence, you'd make an additional payment by the end of the year. One extra payment can reduce total interest costs and reduce your repayment time. Say you have a student loan balance of $35,000 at 5% interest on a 10-year repayment term. Making bi-weekly payments can shave off a year of repayment. 6. Attempt to negotiate and settle for less than you owe. If you're in over your head with credit card debt, consider negotiating with your creditors and settling for less than you owe. Typically, this strategy is best if you're delinquent with payments and debt collectors are contacting you. Rarely does this tactic work in other instances as creditors generally only grant settlements to borrowers who aren't likely to repay their debt in full. Based on your income and expenses, suggest a repayment plan that works for you and see what your creditor says. Depending on your situation, you might propose a lump sum or monthly payments. If accepted, get a full agreement in writing from the company outlining the plan. Be wary of scammy companies offering debt settlement services for a fee. To be safe, work with a company accredited by the American Fair Credit Council. What if debt settlement doesn't work? If you're not delinquent but are struggling, ask your credit card company if they can lower the interest rate or establish a payment plan. Another option is to work with a nonprofit credit counseling agency, but do your research. 
it's important to tread carefully and vet any advisor you engage, regardless of whether they're at a nonprofit or some other entity. Understand who is paying them and be sure their advice is not biased or influenced in any way that does not put you first. A nonprofit credit counseling agency may offer you a debt management plan where you work with a credit counselor who can provide support and may be able to work with your creditor to get a lower interest rate. You deposit funds into a specified account and your credit counselor makes payments until your debt is paid off. You can do some quick math to determine whether it's time to work with a nonprofit credit counselor. If your debt to income exceeds 40%, then I think that is a critical line in the sand. If you're paying 30% in taxes, 40% in debt repayment, then it only leaves you with 30% to live off and save. That's pretty challenging and not likely sustainable long term. 7. Consider consolidating and refinancing your debt. Getting out of debt can feel insurmountable. To make it more manageable and affordable, Consider consolidating and refinancing your outstanding balances. These strategies typically involve another type of loan that pays off your existing debt at a lower rate. Some options include debt consolidation. You may qualify to get a personal loan at a lower rate that can be used for debt consolidation. For example, you could use a personal loan to pay off various credit card balances at higher rates. You'd trade multiple balances at higher rates with one loan at a lower rate. Balance transfer. If you have a strong credit score, you may qualify for a balance transfer credit card. This is specifically used to transfer your balances from one or multiple cards to another with a lower interest rate. A balance transfer card is typically only a good idea. However, if you pay most or all your debt during the promotional period, which could span 12 to 21 months. If you go this route, expect to pay 3% to 5% in fees and review when the promotional period ends. The interest savings can help propel your debt payoff. For example, let's say you have $5,000 in credit card debt at 18% and pay $125 per month. Then you get approved for a 15-month 0% balance transfer card with a 3% balance transfer fee. To pay off your balance during the promotional period, your new estimated payment would be $343 and you'd save $2,542 in interest. While the interest savings is great, your monthly payment more than doubles. If you can afford that, this can be a worthwhile strategy. Student loan refinancing. Private lenders, including banks, credit unions, and online companies, offer student loan refinancing to borrowers and may advertise better rates than your current APRs. The better your credit, the likelier you can access those basement rates. If you have federal loans, though, consider this strategy carefully. If you refinance federal loans, you would become ineligible for federal government exclusive forgiveness and income-driven repayment plans. If you want to get out of debt fast, and a lower interest rate can help, review your options which include refinancing only your private student loans. 8. Work to boost your income. The amount you put toward your debt repayment is closely related to your current income and expenses. But you might wonder how to get out of debt when you're broke. If you've reduced your expenses and hit your limit, work toward boosting your income. Some options include side hustles. Use your existing skills to earn more on the side. You can freelance and offer your services or sign up for gig work. Sell items. Take an inventory of what you own. What do you no longer need or use? Take those items and sell them using Facebook Marketplace, Poshmark, Mercari, and OfferUp. Ask for a raise. Do some research on salaries for your job and industry and see if you could be earning more. Informed with data and with your accomplishments to back it up, Ask for a raise and earn more from your job. Change jobs or careers. Sometimes the best way to earn more is by changing jobs. A new employer may pay more for your experience. Also, consider transitioning to a different career that may offer higher pay. If you want to figure out how to get out of debt quickly, these eight steps can help you get on the right track. While paying off debt can be tough, 
it's possible. Once your debt is paid off, you can focus on wealth building and earning interest rather than paying it.